Hey everyone, uh, my phone battery died uh, before I finished editing the other video. I've still got a few more pieces to pull out of the box here. So uh, if you guys want, why don't you take a look while I uncover and discuss these remaining pieces. Thanks. Alright, uh, here's a big one. This is a 30 millimeter oil pump that is... It has a cover that's tapped for a full flow setup. That is what I intend to use with my 2332. And this part number 1859 is actually on the list of components on the CB Performance website uh, in their engine builder's choice kits. So I'm just, you know, going with what they recommend. And I snagged this oil filter. So uh, anyway, there's that. And let's see, kind of helter skelter here. Here is some fan mounting hardware. Uh, I'm going to run either a 60 amp or 75 amp alternator, and I'm um, stocking up the pieces for that, including this uh, this hardware kit. So, alrighty. And here we have an oil doghouse cooler adapter. This is for that doghouse cooler I showed earlier and this uh, device will bolt into the case where the in shroud cooler would have been and it will provide an offset to which the doghouse cooler will attach and the doghouse effectively moves outside of the fan shroud and the number three cylinder which uh, suffered and had overheating in earlier non-doghouse cooler setups um, that cylinder gets a greater amount of airflow with this doghouse setup so that's one compelling advantage to uh, going at this 2332 using a doghouse and a full flow setup. So anyway, there's that. We'll discuss uh, assembling the doghouse shroud and all the goodies that go with it, hopefully in another segment. I think I'm down to the last parts in the box here, and they are 94 millimeter barrel shims. If you remember in part one, of my 2332 series I was uh, checking the deck height and I noticed that it was excessive I'm shooting for a target deck height which is the height, uh, the distance from the top of the piston to the rim of the cylinder I want that to be somewhere between 40 and 50 thousandths no more so that we get a good burn in the cylinders and I think I've got some 60 thousand shims on there right now so either these 30 or 40, by my calculations, are going to get me where I need to be so that we have the best burn um, and make the most power. You know, uh, the heads that I'm using are set up with 52cc chambers and 45 millimeter intake valves and uh, 37 and a half exhaust valves, but those those are some pretty high heavy breathing heads and I just want to make sure that the um, the assembly of the heads and the cylinders is correct and that I hit my target compression ratio in this 2332 uh, of about 10 and a half to 1 so these shims are going to help me along with that anyway I think that's it for today and we'll get another video up here soon hopefully uh, more test fitment of the pieces in the engine. So thanks for tuning in today, and I hope that these, um, uh, I hope that this uh, video gives an insight into what's to come. So stay tuned for more on the 2332 and my other VW and Corvette engine projects. Thank you.